Hey friends, as we gather for another dive into the Word, let's explore some hidden gems that often don't take the spotlight on Sundays. You know those stories that might be a bit quirky or have a lot going on. Join me on this journey of discovery as we uncover lesser-known tales that bring a fresh perspective to our spiritual walk. Let's dive in. 1. Korah's Unsuccessful Rebellion Korah, a Levite from the Kohathite clan, covets greater influence despite his privileged position among the Levi clans. Persuading 250 prominent Israelites to rebel against Moses and Aaron, he accuses them of self-exaltation. Moses proposes a divine test. Each party presents an incense-filled firepan before the Lord the next morning. At the tabernacle entrance, the Lord instructs the people to distance themselves from Korah, Dathan, and Abiram's dwellings. In a dramatic intervention, the earth swallows Korah and his followers and all their possessions, sending them alive into Sheol, while fire consumes the 250 rebels presenting incense. Numbers 16, 31 to 35. The following day, the Israelites, aware of the divine judgment, accuse Moses of killing the Lord's people. The Shekinah glory covers the tabernacle, and a plague claims 14, 700 lives, averted from a more okay. significant toll by Moses and Aaron's intercession, Numbers 16, 41 to 50. 2. Rizpah, a mother's devotion. Rizpah's profound devotion often overlooked on Mother's Day, emerges in the shadow of more familiar narratives. Amidst the well-known tale of David sparing Mephibosheth due to his loyalty to Jonathan, the Gibeonites demand justice for Saul's past actions, leading to a tragic consequence for Rizpah. As Saul's concubine, she tragically loses her two sons, who are ruthlessly slain and publicly displayed alongside five of Saul's grandchildren. Undeterred by this grim scene, Rizpah, daughter of Aya, takes sackcloth and spreads it on a rock. For the duration from the beginning of the harvest until the rain pours down from the heavens on the bodies, she remains vigilant, preventing birds and wild animals from desecrating her children's remains. 2 Samuel 21, 10. Her steadfast watch over her son's bodies lasts about five months, a testament to a mother's unwavering love and protection. Only upon David learning of Rizpah's enduring vigil does he relent, allowing the bodies to be properly buried. Rizpah's poignant story speaks to the lengths a mother will go to shield her children, even in the face of profound sorrow and loss. 3. Athalia's Pursuit of Power while Jezebel's name is synonymous with wrongdoing, fewer are acquainted with Athalia, a woman who could rival her notorious mother. This tale unfolds with royal intrigue, marked by marriage alliances and regicide. Athalia played a pivotal role in sealing a marital bond between the northern kingdom, Israel, and Judah, as her father Ahab gave her in marriage to Judah's king Jehoram. Jehoram, the son of Jehoshaphat, a king who feared the Lord, became Athaliah's husband. After Jehoram's death, their son Ahaziah ascended to the throne, making Athaliah the queen mother. However, tragedy struck when Ahaziah was killed just a year into his reign, plunging Athaliah into madness. In her grief, she took drastic measures. When Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she proceeded to destroy the whole royal family of the house of Judah, 2 Chronicles 22, 10. Despite her six-year reign of terror, Ahaziah's son remained hidden in the temple, only to emerge at the age of seven and reclaim the throne. Athalia's quest for power and ruthless actions illustrate the perilous dynamics of royal politics and the resilience of a hidden heir who ultimately triumphs over her dark reign. 4. Saul and the Witch at Endor This account can unsettle even seasoned Bible scholars, as it prompts numerous questions about its actual occurrences. It unfolds from King Saul's desperation, having fallen out of favor with God and with the death of Samuel, his trusted prophet and advisor. 
Despite Saul's previous prohibition on sorcery, he turns to a medium to facilitate communication with Samuel. In a disconcerting twist, an apparition of Samuel materializes, expressing his displeasure. Samuel said to Saul, Why have you disturbed me by bringing me up? 1 Samuel 28, 15. Samuel proceeds to foretell the consequences of Saul's disobedience, predicting David's reign and Saul's impending delivery into the hands of his enemies. Stay tuned for the upcoming installment in this biblical narrative, where we will delve further into the twists and turns of these profound stories. If you've found inspiration in this exploration of biblical history, consider subscribing to our channel to stay connected with the unfolding tales. Your support enables us to continue unraveling the rich narratives of the Bible. Join us for part two as we journey deeper into the timeless stories that shape our understanding. Thank you for being part of this biblical exploration, and may the revelations continue to unfold.